Hey guys, Josiah here with Aesthetics Fitness. In today's video, I'm going to go over why sit-ups will never give you a six-pack. Alright, before I get started with today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that little bell icon. That turns on notifications so that every time I come out with a new video, you guys are getting notified and not missing out on any great new content. Also, if you feel like it, it really helps me out if you hit that like button down below as well. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so in today's video, I'm covering what may be one of the most common fitness-related myths out there, and that is that doing sit-ups or crunches or any kind of ab exercise is what you need to do in order to give you a six-pack. And in fact, that's not true at all, and it becomes plainly obvious when you think about the science of it. So let's get started. Your rectus abdominis muscles, the muscles that form your six-pack that you think of when you think six-pack, are basically a sheet of muscle laying under your skin and fat on your stomach to protect your internal organs. Now the reason that doing direct abdominal exercises will not create a six pack, or at least not one that you can see, is that these muscles don't have a lot of potential for hypertrophic growth. Basically, doing exercises that directly target them, even if you're targeting them with a weight and intensely, will increase the size and definition slightly, but not by the same degree that you will with, say, your chest, biceps, triceps, or quadriceps. And this fact, combined with the fact that the muscle sits on the area of your body where, for men at least, you are most likely to hold the highest amount of body fat, and that is your stomach. This means that in order to see the muscles, you have to be able to strip away that body fat to make them visible. Simply increasing their size is not going to accomplish that if you have significant body fat. This is obviously in contrast to places like your chest, where you can see significant size and definition difference, even if you are at a higher percentage body fat, just by building up the muscle underneath, because you carry less subcutaneous fat in that region and have more potential for muscular growth in that region. And this fact goes hand in hand with the fact that you cannot spot target target or spot burn fat. So when people are saying you need to burn belly fat to see your abs, that's true, but the only way to do that is by burning fat all over your body. You can't target specifically your lower abdomen to burn fat or you know your lower chest or places that people tend to hold onto body fat. The fact is, in order to burn fat there, you have to be in a calorie deficit and losing weight overall in order to make that fat go away along with the fat around the rest of your body. Now, as you do this, you will notice fat disappearing in different rates in different locations. For instance, you might lose the fat on your arms first and then start losing fat more slowly around your abdomen. This doesn't mean that you're doing more arm workouts and therefore the fat there is getting burnt faster. It just means that your body is prioritizing where it's going to burn the fat from first. It has no correlation whatsoever to the exercises you are doing in that area. So the way to make your abs visible and have that visible shredded six pack that you want is to be in a lean enough state that your abdominal muscles are actually visible. And the ironic thing is getting to that lean state is actually harder if you are exclusively or primarily doing abdominal exercises because those exercises don't burn very many calories due to the fact that some of them are stationary exercises, they have a small range of motion, and your abdominal muscles actually are a very small muscle overall compared to the totality of your body. It's much more important to keep your diet in check, make sure you are in a calorie deficit with the right macronutrient ratios, and make sure you're doing big full body exercises and cardio in order to shred down and get lean so that you can make your abdominal muscles visible. Now with that being said, I should add on an addendum, and that is that ab training is useful. Training your core, having a strong core and strong abdominal muscles will a, make your six pack more visible and enhance what's already there, and it's also very good from a functional training perspective because it helps stabilize your body, it helps in trunk rotation, it helps preserve your internal organs and give you a thicker wall of muscle to protect yourself from blows to the stomach and things like that. So it's all around a good muscle to build up and a good thing to become strong at doing, but it is not going to make your six pack go from invisible to visible just by training your abs. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and leave a comment down below letting me know topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I have new content coming out all the time to help you guys train smarter and look better.